everyone! Welcome back to another Pokemon Online battle with uh, Clefable919. Clefable919 is a very famous YouTuber. He's, you know, way up there. Millions of subs and views and everything. He's, um, yeah, and he's a lot higher than me. But, um, he is doing Floor Sky, which is pretty cool. I, I found it funny because we're both doing Floor Sky. Not a big deal. I just went on Skype. Hey, you think we can get a battle? Very desperately. <laughs> Not really, but, um, I did. So I did get battle. He sends in his Salamence, uh, he gets the Intimidate off. I go for obvious fake out. I don't know why I uh, didn't switch out or something. Because I'm very stupid. This is before I started thinking about the <laughs> matches I did. This was one of very early battles. But I did get pretty lucky, and even my stupid moves got me. I think my stupid moves got me lucky. So I go into Dawn Fan to get my rocks up as he switch. Uh, he goes for Thunder Wave on Dawn Fan as I switch into it. Then I go for rocks as he switches to Rotom Wash, and then I don't know why I go into Vaporeon, but I do! As the, he goes for with a Will O Wisp. I don't know why he didn't stay in and charge beam. I think he was over predicting. I don't know, because <laughs> I played really bad. But his Sigilyph uh, thinks he can set up all day on me, but I sub up and then I roar him into his Trachyon. He doesn't switch out of his Trachyon, I can go for his Scald. Almost kill him, the burn would have been nice, because then I could have gotten him down and he would have lost. But um, uh, he's. G I know I can go into Donphan, take any physical hit, go for an Ice Shard. He obviously predicts my Ice Shard, as you can see in a second. Where the hell is the next move? There it is! He goes on Royal Watch, taking my Ice Shard like a monster. I don't know why he left his. I guess he didn't want to leave his Terrakion as fodder, because Terrakion's pretty good. I love. I actually really like Terrakion, but it's too OU for me. Ugh, I play UU, even though this is half OU team. But um, I go into Porygon 2, I know I can wall this Rotom Wash, and this is this is pretty amazing. So I go for Toxic, just, you know, Rotom Wash, to Toxic's Rot Toxic to Rotom Wash is very nice all the time. And, um, I don't have a Grass type, I know Grass types are really good against this thing. So he gets a Charge Beam up, goes for a Hydro Pump, I, I take, that only brings me down to half. Then he goes for another Charge Beam, goes for another Hydro Pump, once again, does about 53% of my health. I'm like, holy shit, I'm a monster, okay? Porygon 2, Eviolite is a monstrous, beastly, kick-ass thing. Okay, it takes plus 2 Charge Beam from Rotom. Uh, plus 2 Hydro Pump, sorry. From a Rotom. Wash. So I'm just like, hell yes. And then he misses the next Charge Beam. So I get lucky there. Go for the Discharge now, just so I can... Because I think the Poison can wear him down. Um, so now he's going to keep going for Hydro Pumps. I'm going to recover this turn, or am I going to switch? Yeah, I'm going to switch into Vaporeon right before he dies of Toxic to take my Hydro Pump. And that was a pretty stupid place, which is staying in there. Because I think one more Charge Beam would have killed me. If he, if he didn't miss that Charge Beam, that I think he would have won, actually. Because this Porygon 2 is a great counter to most of his Pokemon. Because most of his Pokemon are offensive. But anyway, he goes into Sigilyph for Shinpora, and he go and I go for Ice Beam. I get a Freeze, which is really sucks for him. And um, But it's not a big deal, because I probably could have walled this thing if I played it right because this is one of those um, I'm pretty sure this is one of those psycho shift where they get a bunch of calm minds up or a bunch of um, the what's the word what is the move called uh, stored power no uh, I don't know they use stored power after they get a bunch of boosts up and and yeah it's not good um, and he has his drachi out I what do I do I scald him I get the burn on the first one which is really nice and now uh, he kills Vaporeon. Oh yeah, I die from burn. Not be and he goes for a wish as I die from the burn. I think yeah. And I know he's gonna. I, I actually think he's gonna. S I don't think he's gonna switch because he wants to get his health back. He goes for fire punch. I'm like, what the hell? Fire punch on a Don fan? Can you use Iron Head? Flinch me to death? I don't know. Whatever you like. Whatever. No big deal. I go for counter. I don't know why I didn't go for. Earthquake. I think I thought these things had levitate, so I didn't go for counter or for earthquake. Um, but I was stupid. Um, maybe they don't. <laughs> I haven't even checked yet. Uh, I go, I get a, I shard off, but with the Intimidate, it's not going to kill him. Probably wouldn't have killed him, would would have brought him down really low. Go on a Dawn Fan, he gets me the Hydro Pump. I'm like, holy shit, what do you have Hydro hydro Pump for? I go on to Hariyama. I don't know how he predicted my Ice Punch. I mean, maybe it's too obvious. I always thought Hariyama Ice Punch was really unexpected, but I guess not. So, he Thunder Waves my Porygon to as I bring it in, because he knows, he knows I'm going to switch. Then... Um, he wishes as I recover, so we're both healing, it's like a healing fest over here. Iron Head, he, he goes Iron Head, he's burned, not going to do anything. Then I go for Discharge, and he switches out, knowing that 
Iron Head's not doing shit, and I s recover for no real reason, and his wish reheals his Mammo Swine? I thought his Mammo Swine was at full health. Whatever. Um, wh what happens after this? Um, I switch out, knowing that uh, I don't want to get Parahaxed, and I, I know this Porygon 2 is very good uh, against his team, it's very helpful. So, what do I switch? Do I switch? Come on, this is when I played really sucky. Like, like I didn't know what I was doing. This was a good, this is a really good team. So I was lucky, and I know, um, he, I knew he was going for Earthquake again. I'm faster, or he goes for Ice Shard. Doesn't do it. Oh yeah, I had a sub up right As he went for Earthquake, I had a sub up. Goes for Ice Shard, I go for Heat Wave. Uh, actually, maybe I said that wrong. And he goes into Salamence, and he goes for Dragon Pulse, but I'm specially defensive, and I kick his ass. So Zapdos is a great member for this team. I love Heat Wave on my Zapdos. It's amazing. And that's it for this episode. Uh, that's it for this uh, part. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Lots of PO bottles coming up. And uh, yeah, uh, question of funky question of the day. This is a black screen, isn't it? I'm gonna try to fix that. Uh, this is a black. Sc uh, this is black screen. Funky today is funky question. Um. Ah. Uh, what is uh, what is your favorite Pokemon in competitive battling in black and white Gen 5 O O U U U whatever what's your favorite Pokemon see you guys later